The Angry Birds movie is the number one movie in America. According to Box Office Mojo, it beat out Captain America Civil War by under $6 million. That's actually not a lot. And I only mention that because they keep saying it online, on television. We get it. Your movie beat out another movie that was already out for three weeks. I mean, I saw Civil War twice in the first two weeks, so saying that you beat it in week three really doesn't mean much. Also, Angry Birds is this year's Lego movie, says Paul Byrne from Movies.ie. Whatever the fuck that is. I'm just gonna call bullshit. Have I seen the movie? No, but let's call it a movie watcher's intuition. The Lego movie wouldn't be so star for writing that it would resort to a pee joke. Also, just because the movie is based on an existent property doesn't make it like the Lego movie. For one thing, the Lego movie is based on Legos, a product that has been around for years. Memories of playing with these little toy blocks cross generations. Hell, the blocks themselves cross generations. They get passed down from brothers to younger brothers, from fathers to sons or daughters or whatever. I mean, these have been around for a lot longer than the Angry Birds mobile game. You know, I mean, and that's all it is. It's just a mobile game. I mean, I admit, I've played it, and it's fun, but it's just a game. It doesn't promote imagination, ingenuity, artistic ability. Also, when LEGO Movie came out, people thought it was just for marketing, a way to sell toys, and that's kind of what it seemed like. Honestly, when I saw the trailer, I thought, okay, this will probably be a kid's movie that has a few jokes that go over kids' heads, and that's the part that I'll like, and that's why I went to see it. And they did make toys for the Lego movie. I wasn't really worried about it just kind of being a big marketing ploy. Uh, because they didn't shove the products down your throats. It, it wasn't all about, like, the toys. Honestly, I didn't even see any toys until after the movie came out. Uh, now, before Angry Birds came out, I saw a shitload of advertising. And, and I saw displays and Walmart toys new games based on the movie based on the game that already had toys based on the game and now there's a movie based on the game that has toys based on the movie based on the game oh my god <laughs> but i just saw a shitload of advertising and it just screamed of a cash grab to me which and i know i say this a lot but it's not that surprising considering who's behind it oh look sony yeah that sony Finally, the ending to the Lego movie caught me completely off guard. Like I said, I thought it was just going to be a kid's movie with a few jokes that would go over kids' heads. But it actually surprised me. The movie itself was funny, and it had some great social commentary. That scene at the beginning, the you'll be put to sleep scene, I was looking around in the theater. I'm like, did anybody else catch that? I mean, that was that was definitely Panama and Circensis right there. That was bread and circuses. The whole idea of... They're doing something clearly bad, in this case it's President Business, he's saying you'll be put to sleep, and Emmett's like, wait, did he just say something about being put to sleep? And then the stupid reality show comes on, and he laughs, and he's like, wait, what was I thinking about? Ah, I don't care. I mean, I was like, whoa, that was adult. And it wasn't adult like a lot of movies try to do, and supposedly like Angry Birds tries to do, where they make like sexual references or things like that. I'm not explicit sexual references, but sexual references, they try to make adult jokes. That was adult because it was real. Because that was real social commentary. It didn't need to be raunchy. It didn't need to be sexual. It was just real. But also, the ending to the Lego movie was, it was surreal for me coming into the real world, but it was also beautiful in its own way. It touched on the effect that Legos have had. It presented a good philosophy that order and rules um, work just as well as imagination and independence. And with all of them combined, we can accomplish great things. That's a really good moral, not just for kids, but for adults. That, you know, for kids, it's good to be imaginative, just you have to accept the fact that there are rules, there's order. But for adults, you gotta realize the importance of imagination, of independence. You can't be completely focused on rules and organization. And that's a really cool moral to have in a movie. You know, and, and maybe Angry Birds is better than I think. I seriously doubt that it has a good moral. But maybe it's better than I think. But if you're trying to suggest for one second that it's as good as the Lego movie, 
then I think Jamie Foxx said it best. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. 